Good morning. It's a nice chilly morning here in uh, Oregon. I'm actually at uh, Bone Steel County Park in Marion County, Oregon. About 10 miles, or rather 10 minutes from my home in Salem. I'm kind of on the scouting trip for uh, the western white trillium flower uh, that blooms in the spring. I've uh, shot some here in the years past and I think I'm a little bit early but I'm hearing a lot of wildlife, a lot of birds and everything as well. So I figure I'll see what what we can find uh, here. If I don't get any trillium at least I you know, know that I'm probably too early. Uh, it's a little bit of a foggy morning, which you can probably tell. But my goal with the Trillium is to try uh, some different compositions. In the past, I have just kind of focused, uh, you know, no pun intended there, uh, just on the uh, flower itself and on the plant. But I'm going to actually go for a little bit of uh, background and uh, environment as well. Uh, and see what I can find there. So again, definitely hearing a lot of wildlife. Uh, and actually I have just found uh, one of our trillium here. Definitely too early for it. It's not in bloom, but at least it is up, which means uh, within a week, two weeks, we should be good. And hopefully there'll be um, a lot more in here as well. So I'll give you an idea of what this looks like here. All right, so this little guy here is the uh, Western White Trillium. And uh, again, way too early. If you can kind of look inside there, you see uh, that bloom that's not even close to opening up yet. So again, Again, I, I did say that I was going to stick around here uh, for some of the wildlife. Uh, there's a lot of different birds here, squirrels, that type of thing. So I'm going to kind of wander through this. Um, and if I find something good, then we'll go ahead and get some more video. But uh, one thing I'll say that regardless of whether or not I come up, come out with a shot here, um, just being out here in nature is just amazing. Hearing these sounds of the, the birds, the, the squirrels, chipmunks, whatever they might be, is absolutely um, amazing. All right, so it's not a wildlife photo, but I'm still going to leave the long lens on here. Uh, this large tree in front of me has some ferns kind of growing off on, on the sides and everything. And so I'm going to try to do a little bit of a detail shot um, with some of the ferns kind of in the uh, armpit of that tree, as it were, I guess, and uh, see what we can get with that. Um, Yeah, I kind of like that. Um, I'm going to give it a couple more. Uh, go ahead and use that two second timer to eliminate some camera shake. And if this actually turns out, you'll see it here uh, right away. Uh, that shot looked pretty good on the back of the camera at least. So again, hopefully uh, I'll have that to share with you in the video here. Um, regardless of how it turns out, I'll probably go ahead and, and let you take a look at uh, one of those. Uh, I took just a small handful of exposures on that. Um, there wasn't really anything changing. Uh, 
And I may look here at the other side of, of the tree, uh, kind of above me there. There's some on the opposite side. Uh, might be a little something I can play with, so I may give that an, a chance as well and see if I get a good composition with that. So trying to get some more detail shots here with the 150 to 600 lens. So we'll see how that turns out. So I made it to the edge of the woods. Uh, this is a very small little wooded area, uh, but again, a lot of diversity here. And so I'm headed back. I'm going to take one of the other trails that kind of shoot off of here uh, and see what I can find. I keep hearing a woodpecker. Um, no idea what, what kind. I can't tell by their uh, knocking. But I do want to kind of follow along and see, see if I can get closer and actually spot uh, the woodpecker. There's also some Stellar's Jays in the area making a huge ruckus. And uh, I don't know that I'll be able to get close enough to them to get any type of a photo. But uh, I, I do have kind of the intent to find some of the wildlife and maybe get some shots of uh, at least one or two birds and see what we can do with that. So anyway, I'm going to keep walking back down and find that fork off of this path. So as part of my scouting mission, I have found another one of our trillium again. Much too early. I'm going to give it at least another week uh, before I come back and actually try to get some trillium shots. Um, but at least I am finding kind of what I have here. And maybe be ready for a decent uh, composition with that. Still looking around kind of to the end of the woods again, not finding the birds, wildlife that I am wanting. So this may end up being a little bit of a bust. Got a couple of shots with the ferns. I really don't think that's going to be anything, but I'm still on the lookout scouting for those trillium and see if I've got anything. I'm getting some cell phone shots of uh, these little trillium when I find them and uh, I'll probably share those here in the video as well so you can at least get an idea of what we're looking at uh, composition wise which obviously subject to change as everything is and we'll see what happens in a week or two so I'm gonna keep on see if I can find anything so I found another one of our little trillium friends here Again, pretty small, and I don't see a really great composition around this guy. Um, but I am still going to go ahead and get a couple shots with the phone. Uh, just to have something to kind of base that on and see if this is one that I am wanting to try to find later. Uh, so in some ways it's kind of disappointing. I've only found the three uh, out here. I'm sure there's more and I'm just not seeing them. All right, so in my scouting, I actually found a couple of the trillium here that a little more appealing to me. Uh, 
And there's actually uh, two of them right here. And they've got this tree with some of the moss and everything on there. So I'm thinking that's going to make a really nice composition. Uh, the only downside is that I'm not going to have quite uh, as wide of a lens as what I really want for, for this shot. Uh, the cell phone is going to work great because I can really get in there and uh, get an image. But it's kind of tight quarters. Uh, but I'm, I really kind of like where, where they are. They don't have a big expansive uh, background, so I'm not worrying too much about a messy background. Um, I'm just going to worry about being able to actually uh, get in and get the shot. Well, I didn't go back the way that I came in. I managed to go ahead and go through the woods and found myself back at uh, the end of the trail that I had been at earlier, uh, which is fine. It gives me a nice trail. I had taken the camera and put it back in my backpack. Uh, there was quite a bit of these low branches and that type of thing um, that were making it very difficult to get through there with any type of, uh, you know, equipment. Uh, so it made more sense to go ahead and put the camera away, shorten the tripod so that the legs didn't keep getting caught and I made it out. So far, the wildlife have not been cooperating. They've been plenty noisy. Uh, I've been hearing them uh, just here, there, and everywhere. I did not see any sign of a woodpecker. As far as the actual bird, I did see plenty of sign of uh, where the woodpeckers had been but none of them were around to cooperate for any photos. So I haven't gotten any photos of wildlife as of yet. So I'm gonna just go ahead and keep walking through here. Again, keep my eye open for any of the uh, trilliums that are up and obviously not uh, blooming yet. I did find a few more. Didn't see anything with uh, what I would consider a great composition. Uh, beyond just the um, flower itself. So uh, I know that where I've seen before is kind of on the other end where, where I came into this park uh, by the parking lot. So I will check around there a little bit more and see what's there. Okay, so I think I'm going to go ahead and call it a day. Uh, saw a few more small trillium here and there. Again, nothing with a good composition. Uh, now I know that by the time these are actually blooming, there's probably going to be a lot more that are, you know, sticking their heads out and saying hi uh, than what I have a what I've seen today. And so that's kind of what I'll be looking forward to. Um, but, as I say, I'm calling it a day and I'm walking down another little side path here. Uh, but I, I'm just hopeful that there will be a lot more that will uh, be out in, within a couple weeks. Um, I, I was thinking I was probably a little early and I definitely am. So, you know, with, with any luck, uh, they'll be kind of what I'm wanting, but, um, anyway, like I say, if I've had anything good today of the few shots, then, uh, certainly I'll have those in the video. Uh, if not, then I'm sorry, maybe a little bit of a boring video. <laughs> uh, still a good day of photography, even if I get nothing, uh, just because I'm out. Um, and thank you so much for 
watching this video. Please, if you've found it uh, informative, enjoyable, uh, just something fun to laugh at, uh, <laughs> go ahead, uh, subscribe, give me a like on that, and uh, I'll keep going. Like I said, I'm just getting this uh, channel started, and it may um, be some infrequent posts since I'm I am not a full-time photographer. I've been doing photography for 30 plus years, but I'm focusing on my outdoor photography, so that's nature, wildlife, landscape, uh, whatever it might be, simply because I do enjoy being outdoors and enjoying this wonderful creation that we have. So uh, we've been greatly blessed with uh, beautiful locations like this across the world. So. Uh, have a wonderful day and God bless you. Thank you.